Hi, welcome back to the next video in our series. In this video, we're going to discuss installing wood blocking between rafters. So, why might you consider installing wood blocking? Well, there's several reasons that would necessitate putting wood blocking between rafters, including a vent pipe or a roof vent that obstructs your ability to position the roof attachment directly over the rafter. You might have a situation where your rafters are not consistently spaced under the array. I know on my roof, my rafters are positioned at 24 inches, 24 inches, 24 inches, and then in the center of the array it goes to 18 inches, and then back to 24 inches. And sometimes that means you'll have to install wood blocking to position that roof attachment right where you need it to be. Another common example where wood blocking is very helpful is metal rafters. It's not possible typically to have your roof attachment threaded directly into the metal rafter, so installing wood blocking between the rafters is the practical approach to resolve that issue. Another reason that installers consider using wood blocking is jurisdictions sometimes prefer that you don't penetrate into the outer cord of the truss, which in some cases can structurally impact the integrity of the roof and installing wood blocking eliminates that problem entirely. And finally, uh, certain mount types like our specialty flat tile mount require that the roof attachment be positioned directly in the center of a tile. And rarely you're going to find your rafter positioned right in line with the center of the tile. And as such, you would probably need to install wood blocking so that you have an attachment point positioned directly under the center of the tile. So if you have access to the attic, installing wood blocking is a very convenient way of locating your roof attachment precisely where it needs to be. Wood blocking is often convenient because it allows you the freedom to position the roof attachment or the mount anywhere you want without having to conform to the location of the existing rafters. By not having to drill holes and insert a lag screw into the outer cord of the truss, you preserve the structural integrity of the roof structure since the lag is now secured into a wood block that's not part of the roof structure supporting the roof. If you're able to drill a hole into the roof prior to installing the wood block, a 2x4 or 2x6 wood block will work well because from inside the attic you can clearly and carefully position that wood block so that it's centered right under the hole that you've just drilled through the roof. If you're not able to drill holes in the roof before inserting the wood block, it might be desirable to use a 4x4 wood block. That way you'll have a bigger target area to hit when you're trying to find that wood block from on top of the roof. If you are able to drill the holes prior to installing wood blocking, it would be helpful to either leave the drill bit in the hole so when you're in the attic you can quickly find where that hole's located, or obviously on most days you just get in the attic and look for the daylight and that's where your hole will be where you'll position the wood block. The next step is to measure the distance between the rafters directly under the roof attachment and cut a wood block to fit that dimension. With your blocks cut, insert the wood block into the desired location and if you've already drilled the hole through the roof, carefully center that wood block under the hole you've drilled. Secure the block by either screwing two lag screws into each side or you can nail it if you have enough room to swing a hammer. So that's all there is to it. If you have attic access, wood blocking can be the easy solution to roof mount positioning problems. In the next video in our series, we're going to discuss missed rafters, damaged rafters that are blown out, and what you can do to fix those damaged rafters that are blown out.